So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can make a lot of coins as a starter or as a beginner in FC Mobile. So make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. So if you have, if you have just downloaded FC Mobile and if you don't know how to make coins yet, I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you. It's quite easy at the start to make some coins and get some good players. First of all, whichever event you go right now, which is welcome to FC Mobile event right now, you can go into that event and you can go and make some decent amount of coins straight away. For example, right now in welcome to FC Mobile event, we've got these packs right there and these packs give out some decent rewards 70 to 92 overall a player 70 to 88 70 to 92 so you are gonna be able to get some decent rewards if you go ahead and level up as well as that in kickoff section we've got some of these matches right there and after that we've got a chance to get a 70 to 92 overall player or 94 overall player as well as some coins if you don't get a player and if you get some coins like 13,800 only or like less than 50,000 coins that's not great but at the, at the same time every single day it's gonna add up in new challengers event as well we've got right there you can go ahead and get a free 85 to 93 overall player in welcome to fc mobile event if you go ahead and complete four of these pieces and if you go ahead and uh, finish one of them at the time you're gonna get 76 to 89 overall player as well which is definitely not bad as a starter you can go on and sell those cards and get some decent amount of coins and the new team section right there this is a very very good one because you're gonna get 80 to 94 80 to 93 80 to 92 and 80 to uh, 94 overall player packs which are gonna be quite good because some of those 80 overalls even cost like 500,000 coins for example i packed met ryan two times uh, 80 overall goalkeeper and he is worth 500,000 coins right there as you can see so you can definitely make some good amount of coins with the event you've got right now doesn't matter what event is it, it is you just need to play the game you just definitely need to play the game also the UCL event this is quite uh, luck based but if you go ahead and complete the UCL event you're gonna get UCL tokens and you can spend just uh, those UCL tokens in UCL tournament player pack right there and you might get some players 60 to 94 overall player again not the not the best one challenge mode is not the best way to earn coins as well Definitely you're gonna get some points, some welcome points that will help you to open those packs and start points as well, which are not really doing that much to be honest. But with coins, you need to spend like 50,000 coins. And if you win all the matches, matches you're gonna get 150,000 coins only. It's not the best way, but you're still gonna get some in-game tokens that will help you to make coins later on as well. Then we've got Division Rivals. This is a very, very good way to make coins. In Division Rivals, every single uh, every single month, we're gonna have a new season, and every single uh, every single time, we're gonna be able to get some rewards right there, as you can see. You're gonna get 4,500 uh, competitive points, as well as uh, advanced points if you are high, high enough, and you're also gonna get some player packs. If you are lower, you're gonna get lower amount of rewards of course but those competitive points are quite decent for uh, for one reason um just because in the store you're gonna be able to claim some rewards from those uh, from those ones and you're gonna be able to claim some decent amount of uh, coins right there if you really if you really need to i wouldn't really suggest you to open those coin packs right now because i think they're gonna introduce some player pack player packs and those ones are gonna be better value bam um, this is seasonal thing is very very decent but if you are a starter you can also make a lot of coins by promoting into new divisions as you can see if you promote from amateur 2 to amateur 1 you're gonna get 100,000 coins then 200k 300k 500k and then 1 million coins so that's quite that's quite an easy way you can go ahead and make some coins right there in worst attack head to head just play the game play worst attack play division rivals and you're gonna be able to get a lot of coins that way also we've got the star pass right there as you can see if you played the last season's founders event you're gonna be able to get the premium version in the first month as well but if you if you can't or if you didn't play it and if you can't get the premium version you're still gonna get some decent amount of coins and at the end you're gonna get the, uh, get a player pack right there and throughout you're also gonna get some player packs and you're gonna be able to make some coins that way um so here we go for example i got 300 fc points just because i had the premium version of course some coins some gems and some bronze players bronze players aren't great but it's it's all right still it's all right uh then we've got the quests of course quests are very very good way to make coins as well um you are you have to do daily quests to complete some of those uh, star pass or not some of those to complete star pass you definitely need to play this uh daily quest section right there and if you go on and play this daily quest uh, section, you're gonna get daily points. With those daily points, you're gonna get gems, XP, and star pass credit. 
and all of those things will help you get some more coins with gems you can obviously open packs if you want to and get uh, maybe get a player and uh, get some get some decent coins out of that player uh, from xp you're gonna level up and um, you're gonna get some gems as well as you're gonna get some gifts in a welcome to fc mobile event and star pass credits are star pass credits of course you know what that gives you also uh, this is uh, what uh, promoting into new division looks by the way when i went ahead and promoted into versus attack um, division world class 3 i went ahead and got 300 000 coins again right there and by completing some of these quests as well, you're gonna get gems and with those gems, you will be able to get some more coins. Also, a very, very good way you can make coins in FC Mobile. You might not even think about it, but if you've got players in your team, doesn't really matter if there are silver, bronzes, golds, you might you have to check those cards because some of them are gonna go for a lot of coins i've got 83 84 85 87 overall cards some icons right there who are going for a lot of coins of course but if you go down there 80 overall holland is uh 200 000 coins 80 overall um ryan is 500k of course as i said i need to sell some of these cards by the way 79 overalls are there for like 400k 350k 250k you can get a lot of coins for that 200 once again 80,000 coins 90,000 coins 60k there is mctominy who is 58k if you go out and sell all these cards it's gonna add up there is wonder render for who is 78 overall and over 300,000 coins and 150 and 200,000 coins for these cards 130 96 you can see right there 77 overall madueke 77 overall michael are 200 and 260,000 coins you can see how much coins these cards are worth for example sanusi is there as well 76 is even 30,000 coins if you've got some of these cards and if you sell them it's definitely gonna add up and you're gonna make a lot of coins there is emremo right there who is 74 overall card good pace of course but you can get 90 to 100,000 coins for him benedetto who is 80,000 coins you're just gonna be making a lot of coins if you look through your team. 100k for these two cards, Colombo and Caceres right there as well. But not only that, if you go lower there as well, you're still gonna be making a lot of coins uh, if you got a lot of players. Uh, there is a 71 overall Englishman for Dortmund, 150k. De La Fuente, who used to play for Barcelona, uh, is 112,000 coins you can sell him for. Look at that, um, even bronzes. They are worth like 13,000 coins, at least as you can see, but you can get some of them who are like 20k. I also sold some of those bronze cards who were like 50k. I sold one that was uh, 90,000 coins. So you can definitely find some very, very expensive bronze cards right there as well. 20k for this card, for example. So make sure you're gonna go through your team and it doesn't matter if they're bronzes, silvers, low overall golds, low overall silvers, they might still sell for quite a few coins. So, so make sure you look through all that and while that, make sure you go ahead and build a very very good team forwards attack and head to head so you're gonna compete and make um and promote and make some coins with that as well anyways that's gonna be the end of the video for today then make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and peace